Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see are the contours functions that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. Just put the pen here, let's start with the contours. So, in the new version of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC, we have inside the basic and in contour folders all the different contours types that we have in the software okay so basically we have contour down contour up and contour up and down all together and depend on the value that we want for the contour we have different we have for the double int or unsigned double int and i believe this one is only for int but we can see that on the software then in the previous version we have um no it was it was in here in the basic so don't forget about it um so we just go to library tree inside basic counters we just drag and drop into our code and we can use them okay so if we drag and drop it it will work for the um for the ladder and for the fbd language for the structure text this counters need an instance so before using it we need to create them we need to create the instance in order to use the function block so once you drag it you have counter down counter up and counter up and down you can see here the the icon the image that basically counter up just counting to the one counting down here just counting down from the value that you want so you have load a preset value reset and press the value and then you have the output when it reached the value if i'm wrong you can see that later and then the counter the um, counter value okay and here you have the rest and load and preset value then if you want to have like an enable input and output you just right click in the block and then you can have the enable input and output on the block so let's go inside each of these function blocks so CTU counter up, okay. We have the Boolean variable that it will give us the signal when we want to count up, okay. This one is going to be the reset value, so we move the value that we have, okay. Imagine this over here, and then we just go to zero, okay, uh, when we reach the reset. And then the PB is the starting point, okay. So it is the preset that we're going to have. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oops, I didn't want to go to that one. Sorry. So, the opposite way we have the down. So, we reach the value, okay, and then just counting down, which is going to be the load value, okay. Um, the load value that's going to be is the action, okay. So, I have the counting pulses okay in this case in this case decrementing the value so what we need to do is to send a pulse in load so the value that we have here already set it goes to the counter value and then when i have this one the value will be decreasing okay that's the idea and here the ctud is a combination of both of them so here we can see it much better so um these values or this diagrams i believe are from the software okay i didn't make them so you can see here let's start with this counting up so uh continue yes so here you can see the output okay that's going to be activated when we reach the same value for the pv and the pv okay so here i have the r for the reset okay so it will reset the value as you can see it goes to zero this is going to be zero so it reset see the command it reset the counter value now i have an increment you can see here is going one up and here I have another one is increasing and this one is increasing in this point the cv is equal to the pv that's why here you have the queue activated, which is the output. Okay. 
and then here in this particular case now i have the reset value okay as you can see i have another one it doesn't increase because it reached the limit and then here the q is still on until i have the r a pulse the r to reset the counter value to zero this is how it works basically um the counter down you can see here load okay it will move the pv okay this is equal the pv it says pv in there to the cv value okay so this point is equal and then in every time i, I decrease okay it just decreases one the counter value and here you can see that when it reaches the value zero okay if the queue is activated meaning that i reached the point and then the ctud is a combination of them okay so basically if i load the load the value that i want okay and reset it reset it and then you just count it up and down depending on what you have okay and you have two different outputs for up and down when you reach the values okay up and down so uh let's try to use this in the fbd and then we're going to use it on the st language so let's see if i have something already created okay I have this i'm going to spoil this data but don't worry so let's create a new top line here basic counters if you right click over here you can see the properties okay you can see here the values int and for this one is double int okay so i'm going to use this one as soon as you drag and drop it into the code it asks you to create an instance so instance counter and this one is down okay so here we can create a few variables so let's create uh cmd down drag it here cmd load so load the value for the pv and then this one is uh, integer load of pv here is going to be the indication indication counter and here I'm going to create just an output uh, cube and this one's going to be int and this one int so we can try to simulate this I believe I have the connection to the controller yeah okay let's minimize this and go to uh, so what i'm going to do is specify the value to decrease so it's going to be 10 in this case okay you can see the load hasn't been moved to the counter value until i use this one you can see it reached the value load and it hasn't reached the limit the load limit is zero so now i'm going to use this to count up come down in this case can see one eight zero I should put another value just want to show you when it reach zero what happened now you should activate the output cube okay so this is how it works now the ladder is going to be the same okay the only difference now is going to be with the uh, structured text so there is a few code over there really we played before so let's use the count up here in this case instead of grabbing over here okay 
I recommend you to drag it on your, the local variables. So it creates the instance. So here it's going to be instance counter app. And then what I recommend you to do is to go over here, drag and drop the instance name, the parentheses, and here you can see the different inputs and outputs. So uh, let's see, do, 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 counter up. This is need to be manual. We have the reset. And then we have the preset value. And then we have the output. And then we have the counter value. These two are output, so it changed the symbol. Okay. Now, what we need to do is to create some variables. So, um, x bar 1, x bar 2, 3, I'm going to drag over here, 1, 2, and 3, here, um, it's going to be preset, int, and then the i counter value value and preset this is one way to do it so if everything is fine i should be able to connect to the controller download this part and then we can play with the function so i'm going to download this mm -hmm. let's see if it's right the syntax and everything seems to be fine okay good loading brilliant there we go. So here we can see a few more things. So the preset value, I'm going to enter the value as uh, five. Okay. So you can see one. Ah, I forgot here to change. This is going to be, this is my bad here. It's going to be int. Otherwise, we cannot see anything. This is one way to do it. Um, let's just create another variable so we can see it. Uh, counter value to int. Because you cannot see the, the output. So you can use the instance name as you have before. And then with the dot, you can access to the inputs and outputs. In my case, I'm going to use the counter value so we can see the value here rather than use this local part it's just one way to do it um, if i create a different value so let's do it again okay let's so the preset value is going to be uh, let's just go for four okay exit so i'm going to change this one you can see that it's increasing zero one again two one zero one, three, and I forgot the queue to put it over here. So we can see the queue, which is the part three, is going to be on, on the next one. So zero, and now it should be one. Okay, now if we change, if we try to use this one once again, it shouldn't. Ah, we have this queue, so we need to reset it. Uh, zero it's just keep just a limit for this one to be on so we should be able to see the logic to turn it off um, so let me see something here if i use this one now it should reset it 
Okay. So exit. Let me shut off and check something here. Properties. So here, this part showing here. Um, to reason, actually. Yeah, so it will increase in this part. Okay, it will not be fixed. Uh, that's the only thing that I can see here. Um, now, this is one way to do the counters. To be honest, I don't use counters like that. I usually have a variable. If let's go here, find one. And count. If one one, then if I'm going to put it to zero just because it's going to be much easier. Um, you can use the right streak in order to cut and use only the positive one over there. But the counter, the counter plus one. So this is one way to do it. Um, so then you can create more additional logic, but this is how I usually use that to be honest i don't use the counters uh, however i don't know why maybe because i'm used to do it in this way um but it's gonna be the same the only thing that you need to add here is the right streak so you just count one time this part so that's the only thing so if i put this in one counts one Okay, just do the same. And you can do the other opposite way in order to decrease it. This is one way to do it. Um, let's go to presentation and see if we forget something. Uh, this is done. This language. I didn't use the, um, the down. I just used the st up. And this one I used the down. Okay, that's the only difference. But... The idea here is to show you that we have counters, okay? You can use them in any of those languages that I showed you before. They are quite easy, you just need to remember to reset the counters. For example, we're using the app. When you reach the limit that you have to find it. And, and the rest of it is very straightforward. So, thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.